morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the topic radio waves and its propagation. Radio waves. Radio waves are a type of electromagnetic radiation best known for their use in communication technologies such as television, mobile phones, and radios. These devices receive radio waves and convert them to mechanical vibrations in the speaker to create sound waves. Radio waves structuring the electromagnetic spectrum is shown here. In this diagram, we are going to see how the radio waves are used in our day-to-day -day lives. Here is a electromagnetic spectrum, how the radio waves are generated, how it is transmitted and received. The presentation of the carrier wave, here we are seeing the amplitude modulated wave and we are seeing a frequency modulated wave. Radio waves in our lives is represented. Here we are seeing another electromagnetic waves, radio waves and radio spectrum. In this, we are seeing radio waves, infrared waves, visible spectrum, ultraviolet rays, X-rays and gamma rays. This is an entire band of electromagnetic spectrum representation. Signals. Signals are the physical representation of data. Users of a communication system can only exchange data through the transmission of signals. Signals are functions of time and location. Here is an electromagnetic signal representation. In this diagram, we are seeing that the electric voltage is being converted into the transmitted VLF signal. and the wavelength control is also indicated here. Radio signal propagation in indoor environment is shown here. In this diagram, we are seeing that radio signal propagation takes place between the transmitter and the receiver. And here, the line of sight path is indicated. The reflection by the ceiling is indicated. Reflected by the floor is indicated scattered by the objects is also indicated. Here is another radio signal propagation in indoor environment shown here. Propagation of radio waves representation in the mobile environment is shown here. Transmission range. Within a certain radius of the center, transmission is possible. That is, a receiver receives the signal with an error rate low enough to be able to communicate and can also act as a sender. Deduction range. Within the second radius, deduction of the transmission is possible. That is, the transmitted power is large enough to differ from background noise. However, the error rate is too high to establish a communication. Interference range. Within a third, even larger radius, the sender may interfere with other transmission by adding to the background noise. A receiver will not be able to detect the signals, but the signals may disturb other signals. Radio wave propagation. The mechanisms behind electromagnetic wave propagation are diverse, but can generally be attributed to 
reflection, diffraction and scattering. Factors affecting the behavior of radio waves. As a form of electromagnetic radiation like light waves, radio waves are affected by the phenomena of reflection, refraction, diffraction, absorption, polarization and scattering. Diffraction of radio waves. Radio wave diffraction is the scattering radio frequency or lower frequencies from the Earth's ionosphere, resulting in the ability to achieve greater distance radio broadcasting. Sound wave diffraction is the bending of sound waves as the sound travels around edges of geometric objects. Reflection of radio waves Radio waves almost always travel through space in a straight line. The angle at which a radio wave is reflected from a smooth metal surface, also called the angle of reflectance, is always equal to the angle at which it approached the surface. Line of sight path Most cellular radio systems operate in urban areas where there is no direct line of sight path between the transmitter and the receiver and where the presence of high-rise buildings causes severe diffraction loss. Due to multiple reflections from various objects, the electromagnetic waves travel along different paths of varying lengths. Line of sight propagation representation is shown here. In this diagram, we are seeing a transmit antenna and receive antenna. In between that transmit antenna and the receive antenna, the signal propagation is represented. This line of sight propagation occurs above 30 megahertz. Radio waves can exhibit three fundamental propagation behaviors depending on their frequency. The first one is ground wave, its frequency is less than 2 MHz. The second one is sky wave, its frequency is in between 2 to 30 MHz. The third one is line of sight wave, its frequency is greater than 30 MHz. Ground waves Waves with low frequencies follow the Earth's surface and it can propagate long distance. These waves are used for example submarine communication or AM radio. Sky wave. Many international broadcasts and armature radio use these short waves that are reflected at the ionosphere. This way the waves can bounce back and forth between the ionosphere and the Earth's surface traveling around the world. Line of sight waves. Mobile phone systems, satellite systems, cordless telephones, etc. use even higher frequencies. The emitted waves follow a more or less straight line of sight. This is indicated here. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.